Alicia. Hi there, Dice de Corte here. Thanks for joining us on the Finnish Connection. Today we will connect with a small country called Finland, who is celebrating its 103rd year of independence on December the 6th. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Finland. So here we are remembering not just the fallen soldiers and the veterans, but many others, including the orphans, evacuees from Gadiela, the children who were evacuated to Sweden, the women who worked at home or in the factories, and the veterans of the women's defense unit known as the Lotta. The cost for independence did not come cheaply. We now want to remember all those veterans and all the others who made sacrifices for Finland's independence. Let's bow our heads for a moment and for a prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the freedoms that we enjoy today. We proudly remember those who sacrificed their lives for us. Bless the families who sent their sons and husbands to protect our homeland. Bless our Finland, bless its leaders, bless all our citizens today at home and abroad. Amen.
The Finns are unlike any other nation. Finland's a small nation of about five and a half million people. It's a country that's famous for connecting with the world around them. They have the famous Nokia phones. Everyone has one. And then there's the Linux operating system and computer softwares and the innovations. We can see that Finns are well connected with the world wide network around them. During the last 70 years, the country has truly been blessed beyond measure in achievements and advances. Finland is one of the least corrupt countries in the world to live in. Did you know that Finland had a king at one time? However, the monarchy collapsed one month later when the World War I ended. Despite all its internal troubles, Finland gained international fame as a brave new nation. Sure, they got the Sisu, but sometimes it's not enough. During the early years of independence, much was happening in the world. There was a Spanish flu pandemic when 75 million people perished. Then there was the great big ammunition explosion in the harbor of Halifax, Canada, when two ships collided. Then there was also something wonderful happening in America that spilled over into Finland. People began to experience unusual spiritual revival as the whole outpouring of the Holy Spirit began. A movement in the 1948 known as the Healing Revival of Restoration was happening and God called and gifted persons like Morris Sorello, Oral Roberts, Billy Graham, Catherine Coleman, Eino Aunen, Eino Manninen, Vilho Soinanen, Nilo Ylevanjon, and hundreds of people into ministry. Many new congregations were born during this movement. Finland's missionaries in many foreign countries were among the most effective workers of all that were sent to spread the good news of salvation. Finland has spiritually experienced many spiritual events along its independence journey, which has been such a blessing to Finland. God still answers their prayers. God still has great plans for Finland. Whether you know it or not, we are in this together. We're in the middle of a battlefield and you are the ultimate prize. The battle is over your eternal soul. Life's a battlefield. It's not a recreation game. We can't change the rules. There is no hiding place and no place safe to hide from the enemy. Your religion is not enough to save you. You need a personal relationship with the Creator. There is only one place safe and that is in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty God. Listen my friend, our common enemy Satan is stronger than any of us. He's out to destroy us, God's masterpiece, in any way he can. But he is not strong enough for our God. Our God is a mighty God. So we need to petition God's help even more today. The battle is his. The enemy is a defeated foe, still trying to take us out. There are some of us still lost in the battlefield wandering about, aimlessly and blind. Then there are others wounded and suffering from the enemy's fiery arrows. Well, the great physician is able to heal you and to restore you. Let's petition to God to help us and to keep us safe. He's waiting for you to call on him. We do not need all this technology to connect with him. He's close to you, wherever you are, and he loves you very much. He's waiting for you to call on him so that he can bless you. So why not call out to him? 
Let's pray. Blessed are you, O Lord God, King of the universe. We call upon you as we celebrate Finland's independence. We ask for your blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for connecting with our independence celebration. I hope that this moment has been an encouragement to you and a blessing to you. And for future videos of the Finnish Connection, please share and press the subscribe button below. See you soon. Hey, hey.